All right, assuming that you already properly memorized the principles, let's now move on to exercises. I got a two example trees to go over with you. The first one, and this is a family tree that we're familiar with. So let's see how we can do the traversals. And notice that for this tree, I only listed the exercises for pre-order and post-order. Did I forget about in order? Or we simply just cannot do in order traversal on the tree? The answer is we cannot do in order traversal on this tree because it's more like a general tree. It's not binary. For example, you can see for Elsa, she has one, two, three, more than two child notes. So that's why we cannot do in order. In order traversal is only applicable to binary trees. But in the next example we're going to do, the arithmetic expression tree, remember, we had, we, when we talk about the applications for binary tree, that will be uh, the, the, the kind of tree where we can apply pre-order, in order, and post-order. That's something I want you to know first about what kind of traversal can be done for the trees. And let's now talk about this family tree over here, the same tree. And we want to see what's going to be the sequence of visiting depending on whether we do pre-order versus post-order. And let me just make sure you really memorize properly. Right? We can just make a note over here. So for the pre-order, we know that it's going to be, we want to visit the parents, followed by pre-order of the child notes. It's a very informal sketch over here, right? That'll be what you have to uh, remember, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you already memorized it, but I just want to write it down over here. What about the case of the post-order? It's going to be, we want to do post-order recursively on the child notes. And then followed by the base case of visiting the parents. So this will be the order we want to remember, and we're going to contrast exactly what the consequence might be depending on which one we choose to traverse the tree. Okay, so this will be one, and this will be one. And for in both cases, it's really important to know when to reach the base case. So one will be in the beginning for the parents, and the other one will be at the end. Let's start with the pre-order traversal on this example tree over here. And the way I'm gonna generate a sequence of visiting the nodes is almost like I'm tracing a recursive call for the pre-order traversal. Remember parents followed by recursively pre-order traversing the uh, child notes. Let's see how exactly we do it. Let's start by the root. David, which got left subtree, well, I should say the first subtree, and also second subtree, because it's more like a general tree. It's not really binary. Let's see uh, how to really uh, annotate it. So this will be the root, David over here, and then we got the external nodes, which I'm going to use uh, the subtree rooted as an external child over here, the first subtree. And the second one is definitely a subtree rooted as an internal child. So this will be another one, right? So you can see that's the overall structure we're doing at the first level. We got a root, the parents, and you got one and two subtrees over here, rooted at the first child and the second child. The resulting order or well, the resulting pre-order sequence goes like this. Because we know the principle is we should really visit the parent first. So that means we should really have the visit result for just the parents. And then we're gonna go uh, recursively to pre uh, go recursively to pre-order, traverse the first child, followed by recursively pre-order the second child. So for the red, I'm gonna put, this will be the result for uh, pre-order, recursively pre-order traver uh, traversing uh, the first child. And this part over here will be the sequence that's going to be resulted from recursively pre-order traversing this second subtree, right? So far, so good. Let's now see how we should do it. This will be the base case, meaning that we can just put down the, the name of the, uh, the, or the elements of the node. And then for the second one over here, it's external. In which case we can, uh, uh, this uh, this is also like a base case. When we know the node is actually external, we can we don't need to do any further recursive call on its uh, child nodes. In that case, we can simply put down uh, uh, Ernesto. Okay, what about this part here, right? This part here, because it's not external, in that case, we have to do the same recursion mechanism again, the, the same pre-order traversal. So that would be, we have to visit the root over here, 
followed by its subtree. How many subtrees do we have for its child nodes? We got one and also two. So what I will do is I'm going to say this one over here, let's say, uh, let me use green. Okay, this one here, Elsa, Shirley, and also Vanessa. Right, you can see this is the first subtree. And the second subtree is, again, looks like an external subtree, right? So let's try to do uh, this one over here. And this one over here is going to be, you can see this part here, number one is going to be the parents and followed by the, in, uh, the pre-order traversal results for the first subtree, which presumably will be larger. And then followed by the pre-order traversal for the second subtree, right? And let's see exactly how that, that would go. And this parents over here will just be quiz. And followed by quiz is going to be the result, resulting sequence for this subtree over here. And that one there again is going to be some rec uh, recursive because it's not base case. For Elsa is going to be, let's see, over here. And it will be Elsa over here and followed by the recursive result on each of the subtree over here, Shirley and also Vanessa and Peter over here. Right, let's now see how this is gonna go. Elsa is actually going to be the just the parents, right? It's going to be the parents followed by the recursive result for pre-order traversal one, two, and three. So we're gonna get one, two, and also three over here. So now we can fill it in. Elsa is really the base case, this is a root. So we're gonna visit that first. Followed by Shirley, Vanessa, and Peter. Shirley, Vanessa, and also Peter. And are we missing anything? We are, because so far we have only pre-order traversed this subtree rooted at the first child of Chris. We haven't pre-order uh, pre uh, traverse the second child of Chris. that we're gonna do that, but Anna is actually an external node. In that case, it's going to be the base case as well. So we're gonna put Anna over here. Right? I think it's really important to really know about the layers I'm actually putting in. So that's why I really want to use the idea about subtrees to really trace the traversal. I think it's really important. But the ultimate sequence is going to be as follows. It's going to be David, followed by Ernesto, and then Chris, and then Elsa, Shirley, Vanessa, Peter, and Anna. I would suggest when you are still beginners for the traversal tracing, this might be how you would like to do it. And then once you get very familiar about the recursive tracing, you might do as follows. Let's say given this exa uh, example tree, I can, for me, since I'm, I've done this for many times, I can, uh, I, I would know the sequence. I would say David, followed by Ernesto, followed by Chris, followed by Elsa, followed by Shirley, Vanessa, Peter, and then Anna. That's how I would see it. I don't really need to have this kind of layer approach to really trace it. However, I would say before you get to that point, you definitely have to uh, spend the time using this kind of tracing mechanism. That's that would be my advice. Let's now do something very similar for this part over here. However, I'm going to save a little bit of time for us uh, to, to actually do the tracing. I'm going to just duplicate this particular example subtree. And so we know exactly the color, uh, you know, annotation, right? So let me just spend about a few seconds over here. Let me just copy this tree over here, right? Okay, let me just delete this one over here. And I'm gonna paste it over here, right? Just the same annotation for the subtree, except that I'm going to just delete the check mark that I put. And then we'll be ready to trace this post-order traversal which in some way is kind of symmetric to the pre-order. The, the fundamental difference will be, now we have to recursively visit the child nodes doing uh, post-order traversal before we can eventually get to the parents. So that'll be the idea. All right, let's see exactly how, how it goes. It used to be, we got to get orange over here, followed by the red and also blue. Right now, what should we do? We should really do post-order. So that should be the red, the first child, followed by the post-order result for the blue, and then eventually we get to the orange. That's the first difference you have to notice right away. So what we do is we're gonna say uh, the post-order traversal for this first child subtree, 
and we're gonna get some long sequence expected because the subtree is definitely larger. Let me just put it this way. And then we got the orange over here. Okay, like that, right? Let's go in this order. And what would be the post-order traversal for this child over here? In that case, it would be Ernesto, right? Because it's the base case. So I'm gonna put Ernesto over here. And notice that the result is already different between the pre-order and post order, you can see the first one is the root of the first child. And the first one here is the parents, right? After Ernesto is going to be the recursive results from this particular subtree when we do the post order. Let's see, let's try to trace it. What's gonna happen is we're going to get to the root uh, quiz, but we actually do that later. So that'll be the last. This will be the last over here. And before that, we need to recursively traverse post order with the first child and then the second child over here, right? So it's gonna be the green and also the red. And then it's going to be the green followed by the red over here. I try to be very careful about the color annotation so you can definitely compare the different layers over here just to study the contrast between the two traversals. And what will be the result for this one over here? And for that one there, it's not the base case, so we gotta go further. So this will be the parents followed by the three child nodes, right? So in that case, we gotta do the three child nodes first because it's post order, followed by the parents. This is what we're gonna do. So that means it's going to be Shirley, Vanessa, and also Peter. That's something we're gonna do. And I think, uh, let me just give myself a little bit more room. Definitely, otherwise it cannot fit in the parents. Let me be careful. So it's going to be the first child, the second child, and the third child, followed by the parents, which would be Elsa. Okay, let's now do it. The first child will be Shirley, so it's going to be Shirley. And followed by Vanessa, followed by Peter. As far as this particular subtree is concerned, you can see the order we're doing. We're doing Shirley followed by Vanessa followed by Peter, the three child notes, and then we do Elsa. It's really corresponding to pre post order the child notes, and then followed by the parents over here. And we're going to put Elsa over here. And this particular sequence over here corresponds to the post order sequence for this subtree over here. Right? I'm going to make some similar annotation at the end just to compare. And after this, we are done with the post order traversal on this particular subtree for the first child. What about the post order traversal for the second child? That'll be Anna, which, uh, which is external node. In that case, we're just going to put Anna over here. And after these, you can, you can think about this part over here are the post order results from the first child and the second child. Now we're done, so we can get to the parents, which will be Chris. So we're gonna put Chris over here. And what has done, uh, what we have done so far is we got Ernesto corresponding to the post order traversal for the left, uh, the first child, and this part over here is the post order traversal result for this subtree over here. And we're done with both. So finally, we can put the parents, David. Right. So finally, I would like to make a uh, annotation just to distinguish between the two traversal mechanisms, and then we can move on to the next example tree. I want you to look at. You can see David is over here, and David is over here. Right. The same orange. In the case of the in order traversal, David actually appear over here. David is over here. On the other hand. David is in the last for the post order, right? First of all, let's identify where the parent where the root is. What about the subtrees? In that case, you can see the first subtree is over here, right? This is the first one. And then for that one there, you can, uh, let me use the red to, uh, also the Ernesto is actually over here, right? And let's see where the sub, uh, first subtree is in the sequence. It would be this one over here, that's Ernesto, and that's Ernesto over here. 
Okay, and finally, what about the second subtree? The second subtree is really over here. This one over here. You know what? Let me just use the maybe slightly darker, uh, maybe lighter blue. So we can really see. Okay, this one here. And also this one over here. And let's identify them. In the case of the pre-order, it's actually over here. And in the case of the post-order, it's actually in the middle somehow, right? I'm doing this because it's really important for you to really compare how the pre-order uh, can be uh, contrasted with the post-order, right? Again, you can see at the beginning, at the end. And also first child followed by second child and first child followed by second child. And of course, if I make the tree bigger, you should be able to know how to do it, right? It's a very, our very first example for the uh, tree traversal. That's why I try to be very, very thorough and slow. And if you really got the idea, I would suggest you practice these and try to uh, try to uh, maybe expand uh, the tree nodes over here by adding more levels and try to see if you can come up with the pre-order and also post-order traversals. All right, let's now move on to the next example tree.